Okay. Here's your lab. I know it says laboratory number one. That's because I used this lab with one of my other classes, my college classes, and it's their first lab. It's your third or fourth lab. Okay. So this is actually 2.2, experiment 2.2. There's that. And this requires that um, you have a partner. Since John is <laughs> here, I'll be your partner. Okay. Okay. So step one is algebraically solve for t and do it without numbers and show the steps. Okay, so I'll have you do that in a second, but let me show you the lab first. The lab goes like this. You find yourself a ruler. I'm sure you have some of these at home, right? You use the centimeter scale, okay. which is, for instance, 12 centimeters is how many meters? You'd have to convert that all. Yeah. <laughs> but you can, right? Yes. If you had a piece of paper and a calculator, you can, you can hear it that, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So here's what you do. Your partner holds it up like this, with zero centimeters on the bottom, and whatever it goes up to on the top. And you put your fingers here, okay, at the zero. So go ahead and put your fingers there. And so that you're... The top of your thumb is at zero, but you got fingers got to be open. This. Yeah. Okay, but your palm has to be out of the way. There you go. Fingers closer. There you go. Just like that. Okay. Now your job is to catch it when I drop it, okay. and we will calculate your reaction time. Probably. Okay. <laughs> ready? I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to drop it. One of these days I might drop it. You ready? You gotta be watching, because one of these days I might just drop it. I don't know when. Oh! <laughs> we'll try it again. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna drop it one of these days at some point. Maybe sooner or later I might drop it. I don't know. Oh, I'm moving. Ready? I don't know when it's gonna go. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, your partner has to kind of trick you, and, not, and you have to be ready. Eyes glued to it. Oh. Try to catch it. Okay. And it's best to do it three times. That's why there's three blanks here. Now notice what happens. See that? Oh, oh, you, oh, you let go. You gotta keep your finger. It's Try it one more time. Four. Just do it again. And I can tell you when I drop it. Good. Okay, now don't move your hand, but measure where the top of your thumb is on the centimeter scale. So you're gonna have to get it up here and measure it. Oops. Be about. No, use the maximize, maximize the precision of your scale. Don't you hate it when science teachers say that to you? <laughs> um. Let me help you show you how to, how to measure it. Sure. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Your thumb is between 15 and 16. Okay. And so it's going to be 15 point something. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm looking at it, and it's a little bit less than the fifth mark, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be 15.4 something, and then my eye is going to interpret how much, how close in between the fourth and the fifth line is it, and I see 15.48 is what it looks like from, from my viewpoint right there, 15.48, if I'm looking at the bottom part of your thumb. Do you see that? I think so. So, Sarah, I'm seeing you. So your first one, first person, the distance was 15.48 centimeters. Okay. And when you convert that to meters, that's 0 0.1548 meters. Okay. What was your reaction time? Now, how are you going to find your reaction time? So let's go up here to the board. And Sarah, bring it. Still holding your ruler? What's that? Still holding your ruler, I can't put it down. You can put it down. about acceleration, we measure the distance that it falls. What is the acceleration? The acceleration would be, depending on what you're using. Um, okay, so we're dropping a ruler. And it's the metric, so it would be uh, 9.8. Good. So we 
no acceleration. You see, acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we measure distance. Initial velocity of the ruler. Yeah. How'd you know that? Did you put a? Did you break out your radar detector? And you know, how police officers measure speed, right? They use radar detectors. Did you use your radar detector to know that? Uh, no, I just assumed it was sitting. You looked at it and said, "It's just sitting there to start with, right?" So this is zero meters per second. That is completely correct. Okay, and. One half, we know that. Acceleration, we know that. And time, that's what we're trying to find, right? Mm -hmm. So this is our equation. So I'm going to write it out. Delta x equals 0 plus 1 half g times t squared. And you know what? Let's just call this d for distance traveled. That's your 0. 0.1548. So distance equals one half g t squared. And it traveled down, so this is negative. But your gravity is negative also, so they both go away. Okay. Okay. Let me stop it. So on your lab, you have to solve this for t. It's not hard. I'm sure you're almost done with it in your head already. Right? <laughs> okay. Now, what you need to do here is t is equal to blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're going to figure it out. <laughs> and you're going to have this nice equation. So now, let me get this. That's right, you can sit there. You solve this equation here. So this is your starting equation. You're going to solve it for t. That's this. Okay? You're going to do this two more times. And since we're out of time, we're not going to do it here. I'll let you find one of your siblings or your parents to help you with this. Okay? okay. And uh, you might want to, whoever you do this with, whether you be your, whoever, your, your, one of your siblings, do their times as well. Okay? So you know the distance that it fell, now you can find the time that it took because you've got an equation that says time is equal to something, something, something with a D in it. And since you know D, you can find time. And what that time represents is your eyes saw the ruler fall. Your eyes sent the message to your brain. Your brain said, oh, that means squeeze your fingers. Your brain then sent an electrical impulse down through your arm, and the muscles went <coughs> And it takes time. It doesn't happen immediately for anybody. That, I mean, it's, a lot of things have to happen, right? And so uh, what, we, what we just did here is measured your reaction time. It's really actually pretty precise. Okay? And so uh, you need to do that. And there's some questions here, and uh, there you go. That's the lab. Okay, thank you. Um, we were going to do another lab, but we're completely out of time now. So we'll do it next time. Uh, we'll either do it next time, or we'll just talk about it. Okay. okay? Yes. Thank you. So there you go.